everyone, this is Debbie with Deb's Kitchen. Today I'll be making taco casserole. And I'm taking my extra lean ground beef, I'm browning it. It's two and a half pounds. While that's getting brown, I'm going to go to my blender and blend in my ingredients. Okay, I have got a can of light red kidney beans. You put that into the blender. You don't drain the liquid. Keep the liquid in there. And a can of tomato sauce. half a teaspoon of garlic salt, a teaspoon of salt and pepper, and two teaspoons of chili powder. You blend it together. And when the burger gets done, I will go ahead and pour this inside and mix it with the burger. The burger is done, and like always, I actually turn it just now on me uh, low medium. Um, like always, since it's extremely lean, you don't have to do any draining with this because there's no grease or fat in it. I'm going to go ahead and add my mixture of kidney beans and. Uh, tomato sauce and chili powder, salt and pepper, and my garlic salt. And just go ahead and stir it into the, uh, the ground beef. This is such an old recipe. I have cooked this recipe for years. Uh, my youngest son loves this. Okay, let's mix together. And what I do is I use, uh, well, I'm going to actually put part of this in the bottom of my dish first. I'll go ahead and just turn my uh, Ninja Foodie off. I don't need it anymore. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and Pour part of the mixture in the bottom of my dish. Okay. Just kind of spread it out. Kind of spread it out a little bit. And then I use the little mini size Doritos, Dorito chips. And I just slightly open the bag a little bit, just enough for the air to come out. And then I squeeze the bag to be able to chop up my, my chips. Go ahead and pour that on top. like so. I'm going to add the Fiesta blend of cheese to the layer. This is four cups of cheese. Alright, then I'm going to pour the rest of the mixture on top of this. Spread it out. Okay. 
Then I'll layer top the cheese. Put my lid on and I'll put it in the oven at 350 degrees for at least 15 minutes, uh, just long enough for the cheese to melt. Serve with salad or small tortillas. And that's my taco casserole. If you like what you see today, please subscribe to my channel or press the like button. Until next time, this is Debbie with Deb's Kitchen. Goodbye.